Hello, hello. Good morning. I'm excited to share. I'm always saying I'm excited, but I am happy to share with you today a fun little spray of flowers and something I think might uplift you with the season that we're in. And no matter when you watch this, you know, there's different seasons and it might not be spring, but it is spring. This is Easter week. And so I like to share with you uh, a little bit of my inspiration or what inspires me. And before we get started, I, I just want to jump on here and just share this one phrase that I heard today that just lightened my life because um, this week I'm trying to see him. He is risen. He's there for us. And I promise you that you will one day stand aside and look at your difficulties and difficult times, and you will realize that he was always there beside you. So I, I hope that touched you like it touched me because I do sit back after times of trials and years later thinking it was the worst thing I ever went through. And then I, I think to myself, I got through that. <laughs> so we're living the pandemic. Whenever you watch this someday, you'll know that <laughs> this was a pandemic and everybody will know what that means, right? So let's start painting today with something that's really fun. And it is, um, I'm going to be on a, a darker gray uh, craft paper. All right, just because it's really fun. I've done a lot of scrapbooking papers, so that's good too. And um, if you've watched my shows before, but what I want to share with you um, is it's really important that you subscribe if you like what we're doing today, that you share it with your friends and you like it and you tell me that you like it. And when you subscribe, there's a little bell that if you click it, it's a notification bell. If you click it, then it will um, pop up when I'm on again. All right, so I just want you to know I talk lower during this morning session. It's called Relax and Paint. So I got scolded by somebody when I was happy and talking, excited one morning, but I don't wanna wake up those in the house anyway. So I'm gonna be a little bit more quiet and I hope you understand that, that part of the plan. Okay, so are you ready? We've got out some great colors. We're using multi-surface paint and on the cap, it shows you all the different surfaces. But what's wonderful, we're gonna use it on paper. This paper is really easy to frame and the ready-made frames that you can get for so inexpensive. But what's wonderful is there's a sealer in it. So it gives it a luscious look right away when it dries, okay? So I pulled out some fun colors that are pretty trendy right now. And I'm gonna pull my camera down and be ready to be up close with you guys. Where is my camera? There we go. Thanks for being on today. Check out some other ones that I do and tell me what you think, okay? All right, so we're gonna get it straight. Come back here so you can get a good view of it. I've got some of my brushes out. I'm using, um, I have the Donna Dewberry Pro Brush Set, signature brushes, signature brushes. And all the specialty brushes have my flowers on it, my rose flowers on it. And then these are just the best quality brushes I have. But if you're a student and you're learning, you can get a very inexpensive set of brushes from me that I was trying to find one that's not too dirty that are the green handle. Is It has a little bit better quality bristle, but these bristles are wonderful. People have used them for years. And there's 10 pieces in the set. It's like very inexpensive if you haven't already tried those before. All right, so what I wanna do first thing is have you paint along with me if you'd like to. Most people watch me sit and have a cup of coffee or whatever and watch me. And then they get their paints together and come back and watch it again and do it with me. All right, so this is an ocean view color. So it's just a soft pastel, but this is Prussian blue. So you could take Prussian blue with white and get a really light color too. And this could, you could take aqua and white and get that color. But then I have cut fresh grass and then I have thicket. 
wicker white or titanium white and coffee latte. These are all acrylics because when some people say, ma'am, tell me what you're using. This is multi-surface, folk art multi-surface, and it is um, a lot of rich colors, right? So here's my scruffy. You have to paint with this dry and I want to fan it out, okay? Fan it out. And then I want to pick up some white. Hear me pounce that. Don't ever dip into the puddle. You're out here on the side and on the side. So see, so, so this is like an, an egg that you crack. You would crack it this way. So one ends one color, one ends the other color and it's dry, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna have a ball up here, a flower design. It's gonna be a hydrangea. So I put this really, it's loose. This is a fun, loose, springy type arrangement today. Now that's just gonna be the underneath color. And so to even make it even better, I can bounce this Prussian blue on the soft color to give it some depth underneath here. You see, I put it down on the bottom part. I do not know what's ringing, I'm sorry. I put it in the deeper, darker part. All right, so this, these are natural hair. So I pounce it in the water to clean this brush, but I'm gonna put that in the water because I don't want it to dry. All right, and then I'm gonna pick up, let's use my 12. And actually what's fun is you use the angle brush, especially if you're new and you're just getting going and it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna, I dampen the brush, lay it on the paper towel. I'm gonna pick up Thicket and Coffee Latte. All right, a little, maybe cut grass and thicket. Oops, I forgot something. We need medium. Where is the medium? So the floaty medium, this is a dirty bottle, but um, it has a new label now. So I don't want to confuse you if you have it, if you see a different label, it is a different label. But anyway, it's the same. It's the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment, okay? So I'm gonna be on this paper, so I'm gonna dip a little bit into the floating medium and come here and flatten it. So whenever I need more paint, I'm just gonna come right here, okay? So this is what I want. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna lead with the darker side. So the dark side's coming and I'm gonna pull down. Now, this is the toe and this is the heel of the brush. If you want a really fine line, you you just touch the brush and pull and this toe will touch. If you have a, a, a flat brush, you had to touch, tip up. So look right here. So see that? This is flat and this is cut off. So instead of touching and lifting this edge off, it's already lifted off. So that makes it really easy. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of light more light. See this? Now I use my little finger to pull. And I'm going to pull. And I'm going to have another little winding vine. Okay. I touch and curl. All right. I don't know if y'all can see that good. All right, so I have a few more. All right, then I have a little bit more paint. I just come right back here. I don't need medium right now. Do you see that? Now, if I want these green, I mean, these brown, they look kind of like wheat stalks. If I want those in here, I can go to where I want them to be and pull instead of pulling up from the bottom. And I do pull up from the bottom because it's like, that's where it's, it's all sprigging from. So then I want some really light guys here. Kind of dry brush. All right. And I'll add some leaves and stuff later, 
but we want to put some of these little stocks in next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to wet the brush. I'm going to get up coffee latte and siloed wicker white. This is the 10 flat. Okay, so just think that this is a nine by 12, maybe that you can just frame. All right, I'm gonna pull this up here so you can see. When we do wheat, we're pulling here and we're doing strokes across. All right, now you could just tap, 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 and just make it look like a stock flower because it's not really wheat, but it has this cool, see if I tap it, then it doesn't look like an exact stroke. And that might look a little bit more natural because that's what we're gonna be doing in this picture. Okay, I just love it when you guys come join my Donna Dewberries with an S, official one stroke group because on Facebook, because when you do that, then you share what you paint with me on here and you just excite all kinds of people to make them believe they could do it too. And there is such a community there. We're loving, caring people who appreciate one stroke and the art of it. So you don't see a lot of other type of art there, but you'll see a lot of one stroke artists and it's nice to share them with you. So if you get a chance, go see. All right, so I can pick up some medium. See, so this is smooth. Those little slender leaves. Now this feels like butter. See, really smooth. Real smooth strokes like butter. Now that is just some white and some coffee latte. All right, so I blended, blended some of those browns in, this coffee latte and white with floaty medium, All right? So now we're mostly using greens, tans, and blues. So now I'm going, I was looking for an eight. Let's see, is this an eight? Yes, an eight flat. All right, so. I'm going to get some of this ocean view and just work in some blues. And this is going to be the background. So now I'm going to slip slap. I'm just using the corner. So watch, I go just the corner. All right. So I'm going to go in here. And we don't want to tap. See, I tapped. We want to slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap, back and forth, back and forth. All right. And I'm going to put this here so you can see. I keep coming in here and getting both colors. And I just do this instead of tons of little strokes because sometimes you can't even see what the strokes are because they're in the background. And in this way, we can just get some pretty colors back there. And then I just come on top and just put a few, a few little blossoms on top that are more detailed blossoms so you can see. All right, now I'm gonna pick up a little bit more blue with the ocean color for down here because we want more depth down here. Slip, slap, slip, slap. All right, so now this is what I want you to see. Up here's the light. We want to come down here with some light. Okay, 
So now I'm going to wipe this off my brush. And now I still have it inside my brush. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of this fresh cut grass and then white. So I've got blue, white on this eight. Blue, there's blue in the brush. Picked up a little bit of the green and then there's white. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna push down, push at an angle like we're doing a one stroke leaf. All right. So I'm gonna keep coming here. Oh, it's too bright for y'all to see that. Okay, so just put pressure. Now watch, I can do the next one next to this. Let's go a little bit closer. All right, so this one's too big. So what we want to do See, I'm just putting a stroke here and there. Now we don't want everything perfect and we want to come right in here and overlap some of this. And you notice I'm just getting a little bit more of the white, but I don't really have to pick up any other colors. So let's pick up a little bit of green. Now look what happens on these sides here. We just want a little bit back here. All right, so you don't naturally see the face of each petal. You might see the edge of the petals. All right, just the edge. So I'm going to get green, a little bit of white. All right. I do have a little bit that comes in here. Okay. So you can take a liner and pick up just thick it. I put a few dots. You might want to put, let's put a little bit of that fresh cut because it'll show a little bit better, I think. I can add both colors to my brush tip. Thicket and fresh cut. And I've got some wild hairs on this brush. I need to get another one. Okay, so look. So you're just getting an illusion of some of that. Um, color in there, but uh, now I want to take the same brush, I'm wiping it off again, and I have white and blue. Now this, this is Prussian blue, so I want to make a mix of some pretty bright blue here, but not dark, dark like the Prussian. See how pretty that color is? All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit of white, or I can side stroke white. Okay, and then I'm just going to come in here and pull little strokes. See how I'm pulling them? Go get more white. See, I'm just filling in some little blue here and there. I'm touching and pulling. All right, a few down in here. But the key is ever so lightly, oops, that little teeny bit of white. All right, get some in here. I still picked up that blue again. Just a few little pieces here. A little bit up here. So, so look at that. There it is without white. 
Take a deep breath. When you're painting, sometimes you forget to breathe. Take a deep breath and enjoy, okay? Like how having them trail over makes a really pretty, um, a really pretty layout for the season. Okay, so now I'm gonna do another flower that I saw that I like where I've got the Prussian dark on one side and then we pick up a little bit of white. And it's like an aster flower kind of. All right. Let's do another one here. Doesn't it look like, oh, I can do every one of those strokes? And I'm serious about wanting to see you share so that people can see that they cannot miss YouTube. The more YouTube I get to build, the more I can start my club where I can come have special private classes every week and you just join us. See, I'm pulling, pull, 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 and the white is the last thing. Okay, so this flower arrangement just has one main flower, but then I did threes, one, two, three, I have some of the leaves that way. And so the blues are in threes. So what I need is I need one more of those or, or I can have it a side view. And people have been asking me to do more side views so that they can see how, to, how I would do that. So I'm gonna do a whole thing of side views on practice strokes coming up. So it helps people figure that out. Okay, so I'm going to take and then grab that blossom. See how you get the underneath part of that? Okay. Now, what makes this look pretty is, let me get a good liner, I was telling you. My liners, we do sell liners separate because we can really go through those liners because the deal is that the liner has to keep a perfect tip, a long, beautiful, perfect tip. And so I'm going to do the center of those with that fresh cut grass. All right. Now let's come in here with wicker white and fresh cut grass. Does this sound like something y'all like to paint? I'd love to see you paint it. All right, so we're gonna push and slide. Touch, lean with pressure, lift with a slide. Okay, so you need, I put those on stems. I don't know if you can see them. All right, I'm gonna start with some coffee latte on the green side and have it go like this a little bit more. All right. Now this dry paper is when you might need some medium. All right. So I can get the cut grass, some coffee latte, and then be right here and get some white. All right. So this is a good time to go right over even some of that painting I did because you want it to look a little bit more natural. I use a stem. Okay, so here, I'm gonna push and pull back. Watch this. These are a different leaf where you're pulling it back. But you saw I multi-loaded it. Apple, I mean, fresh cut, coffee latte, and white. 
and then I can even get a little bit of medium so it moves better for me. So I'm pulling these. And I don't necessarily even know what some of the leaves are. But if you do my stroke studies online, I have a whole thing of ferns and leaves. There are wonderful lessons on onestroke.com where you can get all my brushes and all. All right, and I show you all kinds of ferns and all like this. All right, so I need to go to a 12, and I want to show you a real simple way to get a big leaf. And I'm going to have that leaf over here somewhere, so let's figure it out. It's going to be right in here, okay, right where that blue is. Now, this is what I want. I want some white and fresh grass, fresh cut grass on the outside. And then I'm going to pick up citra. I mean, this is thicket on the inside. So here's my stem. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go one, two, three. And I don't even see the difference in those strokes right now. But we will. One. And we pull a stem. So see how it's dark on one side and light on the other. So then I wipe some of that off and I just picked up white. So now let me show you. Did you know you can turn your art? Yes. There you go. Doesn't that make a pretty leaf? I can even come on this side, put a little bit of white on that side. I can also come over here. All right. So on this one, look, I can put the dark green in the middle. And then I can come right here and get a little bit of white again. And then pull a stem. So see how that kind of make it made it pop. Then I can pull these little stems up in here and here. So I hope that I inspired you. We're gonna get some. Oh, that made it kind of pretty, huh? See the white? A little bit of white in here, and then the white there, and the little tips of white. Okay. I enjoyed that. It's just kind of fun creating something together with you. And I'm thrilled for you to try it this week and get back with me, share it with us, and get back and paint with me again next week. Little tips and tricks. I hope you like them. Have a wonderful day today. And thank you for being part of my day. Bye-bye.